If you've been struggling with shooting, you came to the right video to get your shooting badges super fast. But before we even get into that, let's jump into the sponsor of this video. video it's sponsored by GT Racing. Bullet. Video. They actually sent me this in the mail. I ain't even gonna waste y'all time. This chair comes with very comfortable head cushioning and lumbar support cushioning. It also has an adjustable armrest. The footrest attached at the bottom of the chair is actually very comfortable and sturdy. I was surprised because I'm 6 foot 290 pounds and it was actually really sturdy. The ergonomic design and memory foam style cushioning will make gaming for long hours even more comfortable. Be sure to click the link in the description and use code COOLMARK at checkout for $15 off. Honestly, this is the perfect chair for gaming long hours, especially with the PS5 coming out, the new Xbox, all these new game titles coming out. You're going to want a comfortable gaming chair. Click the link in the description, use the code below and get yourself a top notch lumbar support, adjustable, versatile gaming chair, 10 out of 10 rating. Shout out to everybody that watched that sponsorship. That was the first one that I actually took, but let's get into the video. Now you see I'm spamming for the rock, all right? I call ISO to get everybody out to the blows on skirt okay. wave, and then I call L1. Press L1, then press R1. Select a shooter or a guard to come over, then you literally shoot. Here, I, I'm making it real simple, y'all. Call ISO, call a shooter to set the screen. I know Rondo is not a shooter, but still call him to set the screen. And in order to do that, you need to press L1, then R1 immediately. Then you'll see icons popped up as you see on the screen. Press and hold the icon that you want to come set the screen. Then literally left stick around the screen so you don't fade because this game, you're going to fade anything. Then shoot a standing shot. It's just that simple. You want to do this because it's going to help you get your badges fast. And once you get your badges fast, you can do the, the type of dribbling and the type of shooting you saw me doing the intro because now I basically just ISO. Once you, once again, you see me doing the same thing here and I was able to get an easy shot off. Now, depending on your jump shot speed, that's gonna be different. I got a, I got the build I dropped literally last video. Bunch of people was calling it trash, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm sparking threes. Now, but Minaga Light Dog, it's gonna be rough at first because you're gonna be out here shooting them fades like Melo before he got picked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Y'all gonna, I'm not talking about Hoodie Mellow. Y'all gonna be shooting them fades when you don't even want to hit the fade. 2K just gonna possess your player and you're gonna hit the fade, bro. So you have to use that left stick around the screen unless you really different with quick stopping with the L2. All right, now I don't even use the screen in the method I'm doing now. If y'all want that method, 1500 likes on this video and I'll show you the ISO method I'm using to get the threes off. Sometimes the shooter is not going to set a good screen, so just pass it to the corner, try to get back out and shoot a three. All right, don't worry about the stamina or anything. Just focus on getting the three off without fading because that's what you need to get good quality shots so you can get your badge. Now, pay attention. Once again, I'm calling the shooter over. I'm not doing anything but moving my left stick slowly and letting it fly. If, it is, if it's not green, it's not green. You have no badges. Do not worry. This is pro difficulty 12 minute quarters because you're not getting any playing time. You a bench warmer, all right? Us bench warmers right now don't get no PT, but soon we gonna change that. So 12 minute quarters so you can get your badges. Unless you wanna be out here going against 273 centers on the park, getting bullied because you ain't got no badges, then you need to do this. Notice how I waited before I shoot because it's not gonna make me fear, dog. I'm gonna fade. I'm not trying to fade. I'm doing the same method until I got bronze range. Then I started shooting like off the ISO and shooting like with dribble moves. Now, press LT or L1 for whatever console, press R1, RT for whatever console, then press the icon, hold the icon of the shooter you want to come set you the screen and then literally left stick until you're open. It's not gonna work every single time, but more times than none, it has worked. So do this before it gets patched. All right, it's similar to the one from last year, but you can't do all the, the bunch of the dribbling like, you know, last year because the shooting, is different if you dribble too much you're gonna fade if you you can't hit the quick hezzy anymore so you're gonna fade again you see what i'm saying the hesitations are ruined them need to bring it back please bring it back 2k please bring that back the hesitations you ain't have to touch the hesitations all right it's it's just that simple the hesitations was what made it easier to get the shots off because a lot of us the problem is not shooting i'm greening all right 
there's games like this where you don't have badges obviously you're taking fades it's going to make your shooting percentage horrible the amount of fades i've shot by accident was tough so the only way i say to safely shoot without any badges or playmaking badges because i had none is literally just left stick and shoot until you get some badges then i got like quick first step bronze then you know it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get open and tap that l2 real quick and shoot mind you i only have an 84 three-pointer on this build and this build only gets 11 shooting badges so i'm still gonna be greening consistently with that much badges some people with 20 badges can't green all right now i pay attention right here my three-point percentage don't pay attention to it because obviously it's way better now but when you ain't got no badges and it's a new game these are my first few games you see me first few games me i get the clip them for the dog i'm getting the clips and i'm willing to get in the field and even if it's not pretty at first it's realistic all right i'm not gonna try to fake it and make it seem that you're gonna go 20 for 20 from three with no badges it's not gonna happen especially this year where people can't shoot but you're gonna be green and using this method because it's so easy and once you get some badges you'll see towards the end of this video the way i'm trying to score now and i'll drop another video on that if y'all get 1500 likes to show y'all how to score off the iso it's like a little technique i'm doing and it's way easier to shoot off the iso once you get a couple badges trust me believe me just go ahead hit that goal and y'all boy got y'all i ain't got nothing to hide man I'm trying to help y'all out i know a lot of y'all struggling i ain't gonna lie i seen it on twitter if you ain't following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me. But I seen a lot of y'all struggling on Twitter, man. And it's looking tough. I only get 11 shooting badges and I, my wingspan is almost maxed. The 84 three ball. So a lot of y'all should be shooting way better than me. No cap. But you know, we ain't going to talk about that, man. We ain't going to talk about that. We just going to help fix the situation. We going to fix the situation. Now, so far, I have three shooting badges and I've only played eight games three shooting badges in this clip i had no shooting badges all right i had none and you will see i'm getting like two almost three thousand a game because i didn't have any shooting badges but don't worry about that it's gonna be like that when you start off it's gonna be like that because you have no shooting badges. you're not getting enough threes you need to be getting at least 20 threes made to really see a big difference 15 to 20 you'll see a good difference you'll get like anywhere from four to six thousand but I wouldn't stress it right now since you're only going to make like eight to 12 threes with this method, especially if you're not playing on Hall of Fame, not Hall of Fame, if you're not playing on 12 minute quarters because you're not getting PT. But speaking of Hall of Fame, as you see, I'm calling the shooter over, even though we know Contavious Caldwell Pope cannot shoot. All right, sometimes he can shoot sometimes, but he be selling out Goat James, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Sometimes he be, man, I ain't going to lie, man. But speaking of Hall of Fame, once you get a couple badges, you can go to hall of fame and if it's like last year it's gonna give you more progress me personally i'm waiting on one more badge before i take it to hall of fame and i'll personally show y'all in the next video of the iso shooting method but remember y'all gotta hit that like goal anyways it's really easy like i said iso it's really not much to it it's a very simple method way easier than last year once everybody clears out you know go ahead and call the shooter over in this instance is hand dog smith handy dog man you know always high in the game and look at that left stick press l2 real quick so you don't fade shoot it right here i kind of iso him and i still made it that's one of the new methods that i was talking about that you know you can just iso and still cook up and honestly by the time i dropped the next tutorial the iso tutorial to get the three pointers easy once you get a couple badges i'm gonna have max badges i don't have much way to go anyways i'm literally almost 50 percent there because i only get 11 but i'm gonna get it today regardless i'm gonna get it today anyways right here the score is 50 to 90 <laughs> 51 to 90 i'm trying to cook him up i have no playmaking badges other than bronze quick first step but it don't matter anthony davis can shoot that's why i would recommend you play for the lakers just because ad can shoot look once again let me just show y'all in regular speed i'm literally just doing simple standstill moves around the screen until until the defender scoots back then i step back and shoot it you can use the power forward or the center positions if they can shoot you can use dwight howard even though he can't shoot because he sets big bodies the miyagis man and sometimes you need that to get that open shot right here look Berea scoots back he's under the screen so I step back 
I hit L2 after I hit up between the legs and I did a kind of a quick stop and it made my green window still good. And for a build that nobody else has, my floor space and slasher, everybody's saying it was gonna be trash. I'm actually going insane with this build, dropping basically 50 a game. Obviously, it's gonna be more than that once I can, you know, obviously get more badges, but I'm really not really tripping by micro. I'm only in here to get badges so I can go back to the park and the stage and have fun where the real fun's at. I just refuse to go to the park and play with no badges. I can't do that, bro. I'm gonna just lose my mind. I'm gonna be insane because badges are meant to help you shoot better. Now, pay attention to the end of this game. It really wasn't much difference because I didn't shoot much threes. I didn't make much threes. Even, even though you saw me make a bunch, it wasn't enough. So I only got almost 3,000. Playmaking badges, I was getting real easy though, but pay attention to this game. You will notice in this game that I per pretty much perfected the method and now I'm shooting efficient, all right? My jump shot, I know it, I'm shooting efficient. All right, I still don't have no shooting badges, mind you. In this whole video so far, I had no shooting badges at all. And I'm still greening consistently. Also, you can shoot it off the fast break. You just wanna let it fly, bro. Any open standstill shot, let it fly because the fades, you know, most more time than none, since it's a new game, you're gonna fade by accident. But look, left stick around the screen, right on the line, shoot it. In this game, you're gonna notice I get more three-point progression than the other games because I was more efficient. The more efficient you are and the more threes you make, the more you'll get. Right here, I let it fly again from basically limitless with no badges. You can do this method even when you get badges, but the method I'm doing now is easier. I mix it up because sometimes you just don't want to have to wait that long to get a shot off because you're waiting on somebody. You got to do three things really to get an open shot. The, the way I'm doing it now is way easier because I can shoot from deep now. I can ISO easy. Now, whites are gonna drop for some reason. I thought they said they were gonna fix that, but let's just be glad it's not fixed yet because everybody's shooting crews. I mean, me, I shoot decent with no badges. Now, obviously I got badges now, but before I had badges, I wasn't shooting, you know, perfect, but now I'm shooting really good. I can hit the open shot. I can green the shot, it don't matter. I got hot zones now, I can shoot. Now, let's look at the progression you get after a couple of games. Now, I clearly missed that just the, the sun was in my eyes fam anyways all right look at the progression we get we get a badge upgrade for shooting we get 26,000 rep on pro difficulty but 4,000 shooting and that boosted up all the way to the almost the d and the second bar and i got another playmaking badge y'all want that playmaking badge method comment down below and hit that like button because i'm getting a playmaking badge a game almost and i'm not even on hall of fame yet not even a hall of fame imagine when i'm a hall of fame now this is what i do now to get my badges this is just a snippet i cook up i'm working on my combos i'm practicing my combos and i'm getting the shots off that was basically a quick stop yes if y'all want that tutorial let me know and i got silver range now and after this game i ended up getting another badge then i stopped to make this video for y'all because i know a lot of y'all struggling y'all telling me to drop the vid so guess what i'm a man of the people but look at how I'm shooting in, in the homie's face, bro. And I'm still only getting 5% contested. And I'm ISOing. I'm not even really using the screens. I'm using it here and there just because. Look at this. Boom. 14%. I even greened up 29%. 20 bomba 9% with no dead eye. None. Move out to Doc. One under. Boom. Big behind the back. And look, send it. Easy. Y'all want that tutorial? If y'all want this tutorial, how I'm doing is 6,000. That was only my second, my third badge. Now I'm about to go get all of them because I, I brought y'all this video. Hopefully y'all hit that like button and y'all learn from it and help y'all get a badge so y'all can go back to the park and get them greens. Simple as that. Big up on the self. If y'all want some good jump shots, y'all need to hit that like button. I might release a jump shots if y'all surpass the 1500 likes and go crazy and get like 2000 or 2500 i'll release this jump shot early for y'all big up on the self big up lord i might because we got some kind of nut nut uh gv on the don't know the ting go yard man gaming gun best intention what's the matter oh you were finished oh well allow me to retort